a scary scene late Saturday night in the Lentz neighborhood. Streets around a food cart pod on Southeast 82nd were closed as police defused a possible pipe bomb. Fox 12's Connor McCarthy tells us what one food cart owner is saying after he saw someone throw it at his cart. It was like a scene out of a Hollywood movie. The police officer that came, he was like, uh, we need to move everybody back and they taped off all of 82nd. Tim Turcott owns a Thai food cart at the Eastport food cart pod. He took this video of police trying to defuse a possible pipe bomb that was thrown at his cart. You can see an officer cautiously examine the device. It was just probably a three inch metal tube, uh, probably four inches long with clay packed in on the sides and they had wrote 5.0 across the device. Then in this clip, the officer uses something else to move the object away from Tim's cart. Just blew my mind, no pun intended. It just kind of, it was just kind of crazy. Tim says he stepped out of his house nearby just in time to scare the group off because he saw more than one of those devices. They picked up a couple other large size pipe bombs, probably the size of like a water bottles. Uh, picked them up, took off running. If Tim didn't catch the culprits in the act, he says a potential explosion could have led to something worse. I mean, they've been blowing up the homeless carts in the area, the RVs, and those make a gnarly situation. I mean, let alone what you can do to a food cart hooked up to a 100-gallon propane tank. Tim says it's frustrating that his cart was targeted Saturday night, especially after someone broke into it back in June by cutting a hole in the roof. But he says to help prevent crime, the community needs to look out for each other. Be neighborly and everything will go smooth. You just got to watch for the ones that don't live in your neighborhood. Connor McCarthy, Fox 12, Oregon. Now, we did reach out to Portland police for more information, but we have not heard back. Tim says he has no plans to move and says the customers and the other food cart owners are what keep him there. But he does say when the sun goes down, the crime does come out.